Hey everyone, Kushbu this side. So today we are going to discuss about Adobe India Vids Scholarship, Women in Technology Scholarship. Don't forget to share this video with every girl you know because it can be very beneficial for them. So we are going to discuss four things in the video. Firstly, the overview. Second, the selection criteria. Third, the application process. And then we are going to talk with the scholars so that we can know the insiders of application. Firstly, what is Adobe with scholarship? It is the scholarship given by Adobe uh, so that they can push more women in the field. Firstly, you will get internship opportunity at Adobe. Secondly, you will get fully funded travel grant to Grace Hopper Conference. Thirdly, you are going to get full funds for your remaining academic session in the university. And last but not the least, you will get mentoring from uh, technical leads at Adobe. So let's see. What is the selection criteria? Firstly, you need to be an Indian girl in an Indian university. Second, you need to be a pre-final year student. Means if you are doing your B.Tech, you should be in your third year. Third, you should be doing B.Tech, integrated MS or M.Tech in any computer or related field. And fourth, you should not be a related party to any Adobe employee. That's common. So let's talk about what is the application process. So the link to the application is in description below. Please check that out. If you are interested, you have to give your resume. You have to give your transcripts from the previous year. You have to give a letter of recommendation from any of your professor. And then you have to write some essays. The essay are common like what are your future goals and who is your role model or uh, what are the challenges you have faced till now, why you deserve the scholarship and like that. And there is also option for introduction video. I will recommend you to add introduction video as it adds weight to your application. So we have talked a lot about application. Let's now talk to my senior Tripti Di and she will guide us with some tips for our application process. So let's go. Hello Tripti Di. Okay, hi Kushbu. So uh, my name is Tripti Shukla. I am a senior year undergraduate at JP Institute of Information Technology. I am a, a full stack developer who is also interested in machine learning and stuff. I uh, love contributing to open source and uh, work on diverse project areas over diverse tech stacks. Uh, uh, blending machine learning with development, uh, like that is what I uh, really like. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much about me. Okay, so would you like to tell us something about your uh, Adobe scholarship uh, experience? And by the way, congratulations for the scholarship. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kushbu. So, okay, so Adobe uh, Women in Technology Scholarship. So the application started for us uh, last year around August only. Uh, so like. Uh, there was this, uh, so the, yeah, the uh, entire process is basically uh, to uh, submit, uh, submit your resumes, submit your transcripts and uh, then you have to answer like four or five essay based questions that are uh, basically based on uh, some of your, like uh, they basically ask you uh, questions like uh, any uh, uh, solid experience in your past that affected you like basically to judge your personality and to see what kind of a person you are and what are you like what are the things that make you stand uh, so uh, that is uh, mostly it and uh, after so yeah so after the initial application uh, there will be a short listing there will be some short listing internal short listing so like we are not uh, uh, made aware of how many uh, students they shortlist and from how many they'll be selecting how many so like all this is completely uh, completely hidden uh, yeah so uh, after the shortlisting like uh, if you are lucky enough and if you like if you stand apart from the rest of the applications you might get a, get an email for the interviews that will be conducted ahead and uh, so yeah, so then I got my first interview mail in around October or November, I guess. Yeah, so uh, my first interview was a different individual uh, from uh, Adobe Research only. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, like interviews basically cover mostly uh, uh, the things that you mentioned in your resume and interviews are mostly around those 
text arts and skills that uh, are present in your resume yeah. so like it could be anything it could be based on your projects it could be based on some general concepts related to that uh, topic or related to mm-hmm. that thing or maybe something that uh, that person is uh, has an expertise in so that could also be asked uh, one question that is very important and like that is like the most expected question is uh, describe one project of yourself that you are really proud of or like you want to discuss about so uh, you should always have that one project uh, prepared in your mind like whatever you are going to discuss uh, other than that uh, yeah so that was my first interview in uh, so i like had two interviews only but the number of interviews depends and varies from person to person i know uh, a different person who has like four or five interviews and didn't make through so it uh, really depends on individual to individual and uh, like you won't get to know like uh, which who is uh, uh, getting through how many interviews and all that so like that is also completely hidden so in my second interview there was this different in, uh, different individual from a different business unit uh, and uh, that was more on whatever i have uh, written in my resume and whatever i have uh, discussed so far in my first interview i was supposed to showcase those things through some uh, you know some pictures or project if you have a live demonstration of the project you were supposed to discuss those things there so in that we basically yeah so i discussed like three four of my projects i had like three four live projects at that time i discussed those i discussed some of my hackathons that i went through some of my prototypes of projects that were during the process then there uh can be questions related to your re- leadership uh, qualities and leadership skills so there yeah i remember one question that uh, was asked to me was uh, have you like ever displayed any leadership qualities within an organization so these are the kind of things that they look into uh, another was uh, time management so like uh, in my case i had i have a decent gp as well and i already did many projects and everything so there was another question related to uh, how do you manage everything like what uh, uh, related to time management and everything but in all of those they basically expect you to answer first of all uh, honestly because uh, authenticity is very important like uh, if you are not being honest in an interview or in your application uh they will sense it like the people who are interviewing you interviewing you are like 15 16 years senior than you like they have already been in that company for 15 16 years so they will get through if you are not being authentic so first thing is that secondly uh second point is yeah so try to uh, give anecdotes from your real life try to give uh, share experiences from your real life uh, like during your application as well uh, in the essay questions a very big tip is uh, do address some of the uh, situations from your real life some of your failures from your real life and what did you learn from them and how did they helped you uh, in uh, getting so far so like these things are very important and they make your application stronger and uh, put it ahead from others so yeah this is uh, another thing and this i think is all about what you have done like it's more more about what uh, the actual profile is you can like only work on uh, you know improving it or make like making it look better but at the end it's all what you have done so yeah. yeah i hope you enjoyed the video to see more such videos like this subscribe to the channel also you can connect with me on instagram and linkedin everything you need to know is in the description below so go check that out and i will see you guys next time bye